A few months ago, I submitted 83 cards to PSA for grading. I broke the submission into four small groups as opposed to sending them in one 83-card group. I did this as a rather unscientific exercise to compare consistency of grading from one group to the next. All four groups featured cards from 1994 Ultra Figures International Rock Cards, 1980 Panini Rock and Pop, 1985 and 87 Panini Smash Hits, English, Italian, and German, 1985 AGI Concert Cards, 81 Panini Disco Rama, 91 Brockham Rock Cards, and a handful of others. This is group number four. It consists of 20 cards. Let's look at some grades. All right, let's see what we have here. Let's see here. Let's start off with uh, 1994 International Rock Cards, uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers. This is Flea, card number 148. This is a PSA 7. That's a good grade. Um, nice centering on this card, nice edges. This is Pack Fresh, of course. Uh, nice card. And a 7 is a respectable grade on these because of that notorious black border there. And that is Flea. Let's see how he looks as far as the uh, population report. And at PSA of PSA 7 of this particular card makes it a pop one and none higher. So we're starting off right. We're starting off with a pop one. This is the highest ever graded Flea card from this set ever graded through PSA. And it's a 1994 Ultra Figus International Rock Card Flea. And that's what a pop one looks like right there. That is the way to start off this submission reveal. All right. Put him right down here. Next up, 1994 International Rock Cards Lemmy from Motorhead. Card number 50. This is a PSA 8. That is a really strong grade. I am really partial to this card. I love this card. I was excited when I pulled it out of the pack. And a PSA 8 is all I can ask for as far as a grade. That's an outstanding grade. And take a look at that right there. That's what that card is. A PSA 8 looks like. Wow. Let's see what we have here. There's Flea. And let me kill Mr. is, oh my gosh, another pop one, none higher. Wow. There we go. Pop one, none higher. And that's the Lemmy card right there. A couple of high grades right out of the chute here. And those are enough to get these cards right to the top. These first two cards are the highest two of these cards ever graded through PSA. And here's another card from the same set. This is Axl Rose 1994 International Rock Card. Uh, this is card number three. This is a PSA 7. Uh, there's Axl right there. And that's a respectable PSA 7 on that card. And let's see here. Axel is a PSA 7. Wow. That is a pop one, none higher. There it is right there. Outstanding. This is what a pop one Axel Rose card looks like from 1994 International Rock Cards. Ultra Figus. This is an Argentina card. The black border makes these things notorious for grading, but these I all pull, I pulled out of packs on a previous video. The first three cards are all pop ones. 
Next card, 1994 International Rock Card Slash, card number seven. This is a PSA 6, and I have had this card in the previous submissions and got higher grades in this. So I know this isn't going to be a pop one. This is going to be more down-to-earth, more reality. And there's Slash right there. I think what we did was we sent in three Slashes, the number seven card, and we sent in one Slash, the number six card. And let's take a look at what we have here. Yeah, this slash card is a pop two, and there is one higher. There we go. Next up, uh, from the same set, 1994 International Rock Cards, ACDC. And this is a PSA 5, card number 22. Let's take a look at ACDC right there. It's only a PSA 5. And, boy, that's a nicely centered card. I've got a good glare on the front. It's got a nice surface to it. Edges and corners are as good as can ever be coming fresh out of a pack. I don't know how this card is only a five. I have no idea, but nonetheless, it is. So let's check and see what that does to this card. ACDC, PSA 5, and wow, it's a pop one anyway. Now that's surprising. There's a PSA 5 that's a pop one and none higher. And that is what a PSA 5 Pop 1 looks like of ACDC in the Ultra Fagus 1994 International Rock Card Argentina set. Wow. I think we've had, what, three Pop 1s so far? Three? Four. Four Pop 1s so far. One of them was a 7. One was a 5. And uh, let's see, one was an eight, another was a seven. Just incredible. Next card, 1980 Paul McCartney Rock and Pop Collection, card number seven. And this is uh, a PSA six. And I think I bought this from a friend of mine in Australia. I don't think I pulled this one from a pack. I think this is one that I bought from him. And that's what Paul McCartney card looks like right there. And let's see. That's 1980 Rock and Pop. And Paul McCartney is a Pop two as a six, and there are eight of these graded higher. All right. Next up, Billy Joel. And 1980 uh, Panini Rock and Pop Collection. Card number 103, Billy Joel. Always in the, on the lookout for this card. I, I'll always buy them. Uh, I knew that there was a little bit of, a little bit of, um, I don't know, is it like a print error or something like that? Not print error, but maybe a little ink right there on the card. I don't know if you can see that. And let me show it there, just really up close. And that's what concerned me about the card. It turned out to be a seven anyway, though. So yeah, that's what the card looks like right there. And let's see what a seven uh, does as far as population. My phone is just. Okay, let's see. Billy Joel. As a PSA 7, there are two 7s and there are only 8 of these graded higher than this. 
So there we go. Always on the lookout for that card. Here's the 1984 Editions Aider Iron Maiden card from the Super Musical card. These are from, I believe, Madrid, Spain. And yeah, and this is a PSA 5. And a 5 is not a bad uh, grade on these, and I'll tell you why. If you've ever had these before, these cards are have the most notorious borders. Most of them are cut right to the edge. There isn't even a border on one of the sides. And that's how most of them look here. If you find one of these centered, it's a real rarity. Uh, nonetheless, these ones that I have here are really great condition, except for whatever their centering was fresh out of the pack. So these are all pack fresh, and that's what it looks like. And so that's a PSA 5 Iron Maiden card from 1984 that card is what 30 40 years old and let's see what that card is as a PSA 5 that's a pop one and there are only five of these graded higher and I know the Iron Maiden is one of the cards in here people are grading the Hendrix they're grading the oh I can't remember all the cards that are in there um, but they're, there's a, they're grading the Marley, the Bob Marley, and there's a handful of them that they're grading out of there, and I know Iron Maiden is one of them, so yeah, that's a pop one with only five higher. Next card up, this is a 2019 Andra Film Serie, Britney Spears Premium Rock Shot Serie Y, this is a Swedish card from Sweden, and it is a uh, number 18 and this is a PSA 9 that's a very big grade on this card. These cards are pretty much impossible to find. You can find one here and there. They'll very rarely come up. Uh, but this is the Britney Spears of it. And let's see here. That's what a PSA 9 of that particular card of Britney looks like. That's from Sweden. And let's see what we have here. Brittany as a nine. There are three nines and there are three tens out there. So there we go. Three nines and three tens of Britney Spears in this particular card. Now when I say that, remember, there's cards under that as well. We're just, when we do a shot like that, that shows from here on up. This next one, uh, this is a 1981 Panini Disco Rama, Carol King from uh, the uh, cover of her Tapestry album. These are some packs that we opened uh, a while back on one of the previous videos uh, called Disco Rama, and they're from 1981. That would put them at what, 44 years old, 43 years old, somewhere around there. Card number 44. This is a PSA 4. We pulled these right out of the pack. I thought it would be fun to grade this Carol King Tapestry Album 1. You can see what the backs of these look like right here. And that's what the Carol King Tapestry Album card looks like right there. It's a Panini card. 1981. I was uh, fortunate enough to have 15 packs and we opened those. And let's see here. And Carol King is a pop one, and there are two higher. All right. Up next, Grateful Dead. This is from Rock and Rock Cards of 1991. This is out of the uh, Grateful, Dead Le Grateful Dead Legacy Series. It's card number 10 in a 10-card subset. And this is a PSA 6, kind of a low grade. Um, one thing I can tell you about these, if you're going to send these in, is if you're not sending in a perfect card, you are not going to get a good grade. These cards can be, well, to the naked eye, they can be perfect. Under magnification, they still need to be perfect in order to get anywhere near a decent grade. This card, I checked this card out two or three times before I sent it, and it's still only graded a six, which is, that's just, uh, wow, that's out there. So they are really tough on these cards. Anyway, a PSA six, where that takes us is, yeah, there's three sixes out there, and there are eight of these graded higher. 1991 Brockham Rock cards, Grateful Dead, 
Legacy Series. This card right here is a friend of mine's. I sent it in for him. Uh, this is the, 19, the 2005 Topps Chrome Jay-Z card. It's just a base card, um, base chrome card, card number 217. It's not serial numbered or anything like that. Uh, PSA 9, that's a decent grade on it. And that's what that card looks like right there. In case you want to go pick one up for yourself. That's Jay-Z. And typically when I have some when I have someone out there that I know that has a music card, a lot of times they'll want me to send it in with my orders. Um, so I've done that a couple of times. Let's see here. And this Jay-Z card has a PSA 9, has a population of 200 as a 9, and there are 106 10s out there. Being that this was released in the USA, it just has a, and it's a fairly recent card, 2005. It has a, it has a, a, a very big popularity to it, more so than any of these European cards or other cards from around the world that I have. Next card, 2013 Panini Black Friday uh, Tupac HRX card, PSA nine. Love the grade. I'll take it. Still looking for a ten, but I'll take the nine. And that's what that looks like right there. And let's see, uh, we've checked these before. I think what this is going to show is it's probably going to say about 73 of these. Oh, read the wrong QR code. It's going to probably say 73 of these and about 13. Yep, 73 and 13. 73 nines and 13 tens of this card right here. So that's the Tupac card of the HRX. Here's the Snoop version. Snoop uh, PSA 9. And we've had these in previous submissions. PSA 9. That particular card is going to be about the same thing. Somewhere in the 70s will be its population. And uh, let's see here. Oh, 56. Yeah, the population is 56. And uh, yeah, where it's the same as the two pockets, there's only 13 tens out there. So 56 nines and 13 tens on this Snoop Dogg card. Okay, next card up. And this next one is a Will 1992 Country Gold Willie Nelson gold card. This is the gold variation, the gold variant, the gold parallel, card number 34. Um, as you can see up top here, let me get some glare so you can see it. The, uh, uh, come on, there it is. You can see up top where it says country gold and gold foil, and it has a gold treble clef right there. That's usually ink if it's a base card, but this is the gold parallel. These only come in the, uh, jumbo boxes and the jumbo packs. And typically these cards are very well bricked together to where they are, you know, compressed together into one big brick. And uh, often these delaminate when you pull it from the previous card in the pack or the card that comes after this one when you pull it off of this one. Often they, uh, they delaminate uh, the surface, whatever the surface coating is there, it delaminates. And these things are really tough to get graded. So a nine is a really tough grade here. Let's see exactly what a nine gets us. So this Willie card right here, which I'm always after a 10. I'm always trying to get a 10. There are eight of these in existence. There are eight nines and there are only two tens out there. I've never gotten a 10 in this card yet. I'm still trying. Many of those 8s, um, I think 4 of those 8s uh, uh, there were mine. And uh, I've had a lot of 9s, but the but the 10s, I have not had one yet. And I am still trying. It's a great card. This card right here, uh, 1985 Rockstar concert card, Ozzy Osbourne. Card number 2. Wow, PSA 10. Gem Mint. That's a great card right there. Ozzy Osbourne. This is, um, wow. That's beautiful. That's the AGI concert cards. 
And that is what a PSA 10 looks like right there. Look at Ozzy. Add this to my Ozzy collection, which I have a few decent Ozzy cards already. And let's see how many 10s there are out there. Here we go. And there are three 10s out there is all there is. So this card is in Elite Company. There's only three of these. And there's Ozzy right there. Outstanding. Next card up is uh, from the same set, the uh, 1985 Rockstar concert cards. Card number 42. This is Bono from uh, U2. And let's see, yeah. This is uh, card number 42, the AGI concert cards. This is a PSA 9. That's a great grade. I'll take it. And let's see where we go with this one. A PSA 9 on this Bono card. There are nine nines out there. And there are 11 tens, so people are really grading this card. There are nine nines and 11 tens out there. There we go. Next card up is the, uh, I sent three of these in, and uh, the first couple we didn't do too well on. We had PSA 4s on them. This one is a PSA 6. This is a 1985 uh, Panini Madonna Smash Hits collection card. Regular English version of the card. Uh, and this is what the Madonna card looks like. That's a PSA 6. Not a great grade, but that's probably all this card deserves as far as condition. And let's see where we are. Oops. And the Madonna card and the PSA 6, there's 18 sixes out there, and there are 34. There's 18 sixes out there, and there are 34 cards higher. So there we go with the Madonna card. Next card up. This is a 1987 Panini Smash Hits Collection Italian version. And this is card number 136 of U2. This is a PSA 6. And this is the Italian version of 1987 Panini Smash Hits Collection. And the reason it's the Italian version is it's written in Italian. Oh, sorry about that. It's written in Italian on the back. And let's see what we've got here. Wow, and this card is a pop two. There's only two sixes out there, and there's only one card higher. So there we go. And this card here is one of my uh, favorites from this set, 1985 Panini Smash Hits Collection, Ozzy Osbourne. This is the German variation, card number 26. This is a PSA 6, and let's see here. That's what a PSA 6 of Ozzy Osbourne, the German variation, looks like. It looks like the English card on the front, but the back of it is what makes it the German variation. So there we go. And let's see what we've got here. I know this isn't a pop one because I already have another 6. So here we go. There are two sixes, and there are one higher out there. So there we go. That's what we have with Ozzy Osbourne. Well, that's it for this one. I want to thank you for making it this far into the video. Please let me know you made it this far by posting your favorite card from this reveal in the comments down below. Also, if you're not subscribed to my channel yet, please consider doing so. I typically post a couple new videos each week, but don't exactly follow a set schedule. So subscribing and hitting the notification bell will help you know when new videos drop. Until next time, thanks for stopping by.